Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will cover important logical functions. We begin by discussing the logical test on single argument. That is, if one particular condition is true or false, single argument test can be implemented very easily by just typing is equal to select the cell and apply the condition. In this case, we want to identify if any student has scored hundred in maths or not. So we type is equal to select the cell. is equal to 100 extend this for other cells we see outcome is true for only one student the student 4 who has scored 100 in maths when we have two or more arguments two situations arise either we want to check that all arguments are true or not or we want to check if any one or more of the arguments pass is true or not if all arguments are to be true we use and statement for example if we want to identify students who have distinction that is they have scored 75 in all the three subjects we will use is equal to and and enter all the three conditions separated by commas extended we can see that three students have more than 75 marks in all the three subjects if we want to check truthfulness of any one or more of the arguments we use or for example if we want to identify students who have failed in any one or more of the subjects we use is equal to or and enter the three arguments we extended we can see that only one of the student has failed uh, because that student scored 30 in english which is less than 35 let's move on to the next formula which is the if formula this formula uses the outcome of the logical test that we discussed previously and gives predefined output for true and false outcomes for example if you want to assign grade to students Bases their math score where students with equal to or more than seventy five marks in maths has grade A, else has grade B. We do this by typing is equal to if the logical test output if true, output if false. extended for other students also if we want to do multiple logical tests in sequential format we can use nested ifs nested if means that within one if statement you use another if statement which will be called basis the output of first if it will be easier to understand this using an example here if we want to grade students as a if score is more than equal to 85 b if score is between 60 and 85 and c if score is less than 60 our first if will check if it is more than 85 if true we write grade a if false our second if which is the nested if will check if it is less than 60 or not if it is less than 60 then grade c else grade b we can further have more ifs if we want to have more checks such as to introduce grade d we can further have another check of 40 marks try to do that yourself we can also have and or within the if statement if we want to check several conditions at the same time in the previous sheet we used and and or which was giving us true or false as outcome now using if we can have particular output to these outcomes 
if true we want to output pass with distinction else nothing so let's apply this formula passed with distinction for or we will have if true output will be failed else we will have promoted to next class so we'll write or the three conditions english less than 35 science less than 35 maths less than 35 if true failed else promoted to next class extend it for other students also the last student 5 has failed all the other four students have been promoted to next class next we move on to count if function although this is part of statistical formulas in the formulas menu but we will discuss it with the logical if formula only due to its similarity with if function count if returns the count of cells which satisfy the given criteria here if we want to identify number of students who have scored grade a b or c in every subject we type is equal to count if then select the range comma mention the criteria enter extend it for other grades also so whenever maths grade matches with a it count counts it as one so we have three students with grade a two with grade b and no one with grade c similar operation can be done on other subjects remember to put dollar sign appropriately before extending the formula you can refer our previous lecture to see how to put dollar signs in the formulas before extending them if we want to have multiple checks while counting count ifs can be used to implement count ifs we type is equal to count ifs first range first criteria then second range second criteria and so on so to get the count of students with distinction we use count ifs as follows is equal to count ifs m5 to m9 select the criteria then the second range select the criteria then the third range select the criteria and the advantage of using count ifs is just by changing the value in this cell which is the criteria cell of 75 we can change the criteria of classification of distinction or not we can see that no student has scored more than 90 marks in all the three subjects however count ifs only gives us the count it does not tell you which student has actually passed with distinction which we found out earlier using the if statement next up is sum if formula this is also not part of logical formulas per se it is under mathematical formulas but let's cover this also with if and count if sum if is similar to count if the only difference is that it will add the cells 
which satisfy the criteria instead of just counting them. For example, if we want to find sum of marks of students in maths who have not failed, we start by typing is equal to sum if. First select the criteria range which is the fail column. Then specify criteria which is if false. Then specify the range, sum range, it is the math score of the students. This has returned 349 as result which is sum of math scores of students who have passed the class that is the first four students 99 plus 65 plus 85 plus 100 which is 349. Similarly you can find this for other subjects also to fill this table. Like we discussed count ifs, I would encourage you to explore sum ifs on your own now. That's all for this lecture. In the next lecture, we would discuss the date time formulas. Thanks.